Greetings from Delhi Medical Association and eMedi News. Welcome to our show, Chat with Dr. KK. We have with us Dr. A.S. Swain, who is a Padma Shri awardee, who is a Chief Liver Transplant and Hepatobiliary Surgeon and Chairman of Institute of Liver Transplantation and Regenerative Medicine at Medanta, the Med City in Gurugram. Thanks to be in our show. Thank you, Dr. My simple, KK. very rapid fire few questions. Sure. Take home message for small intestinal transplant. Is it a reality? You have done one case and uh, that means we are now equipped to do that. I would say that uh, successful small intestinal transplant uh, is really the last frontier in transplant medicine. It is the most complex and difficult transplant operation and we are very happy to have done one successfully and saved one life and uh, make this, made this person uh, being able to eat again. Because you see for the last three years that he was suffering from intestinal failure, he wasn't able to eat. And you know, he had lost so, 35 so, kilos so, of weight. So, so, will a relation be able to give a say half a meter of his small intestine? And yes, that's a possibility. A the one that we have just done has been from a cadaver donor in which we retrieved uh, the entire 600 centimeter of small intestine. But yes, if you take 200 to 250 centimeter of small intestine from a related person, that can also work. Yeah. Now, my take home message for intestinal transplant is that these patients lose their intestine from surgery or trauma. Surgery is done because of lack of blood supply to the intestine called superior mesenteric vein or artery thrombosis. At that point in time, they need to be given good ICU care, good anti-infection uh, measures, good TPN, rescued, their life has to be saved and after six months, one year, then they are candidates for small intestinal transplant. Okay, in the year 2013, what's new in liver transplant? See, uh, the liver mortality is reduced. The in liver transplant success rate now at our institute is about 95%. And what's new is that we are going to come in with increasing number of robotic and laparoscopic uh, uh, liver donor uh, operations. We've done a few of those, but they are going to increase in number. We've done some ABO incompatible liver transplants, and that is also going to increase in number. We've done three cases successfully, and there are only about half a dozen centers in the world that do ABO incompatible transplantation. And the third thing, I think, is that a swap program where if one family does not have a blood group matched donor, can be matched with another family and their donors are exchanged. This is going to increase in numbers and increase the number of transplants possible. Finally, the number of deceased donor transplants, that means donations of organs from brain dead persons is also going to increase. Away from transplant, if you would not have been a doctor, what you would have become? <laughs> Interestingly, you asked me that sitting on a TV channel. I am very interested in electronic media. I would have definitely been sitting an, here and an anchor of else. an anchor of some sort. Sitting here and interviewing somebody else. Probably, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Now, in this so-called brutal gang rape, one-line comment. I think it's the most heinous crime, the most gruesome crime anybody can commit or hear of or have to deal with. And you know, it's very unfortunate that the girl didn't survive, but in some ways, probably this was the best end for her because had she lived, it would have been a living death, she would have been a living corpse. And I think that such uh, perpetrators of such heinous crimes should be given a harsh punishment, but more importantly, the conviction rate should be 100%. All such criminals should be punished. So I don't think you have to have very severe punishment like death sentence, but it should be severe enough to teach them a lesson to prevent more of these episodes from happening and also not let even a single person go scot free. My last sentence, do you feel that every police personnel or every police van should have a paramedic with them so that first aid can be provided to the victim there and then? Well, I think it's a definitely a great idea that every police van should have, at least in the busy, busy uh, areas of the city, you should label some regions and within a region there should be a paramedic available within minutes. So what Dr. Swain says very clearly that uh, intestinal transplant is a reality in our country and ABO incompatible liver transplant is also a reality in our company. Let's thank to be uh, in our show. Thank and you that's all much. for today. We'll come back with one more show. Till that, goodbye. Thank you. Thank you.